Hey, hey, what's up? How you doing today? I uh, kind of tuned up this uh, VCT Tools uh, 12 volt. It's an electric diesel fuel transfer pump I got for uh, uh, collecting waste oils. Like uh, this type. I had this, got bought this thing a couple years ago and uh, in a kit that was about $90, I think, at the time. And I just now, I've used the uh, nozzle that came with that kit and some of the other hoses and stuff, but this was the first time I'd use this, and it, I used it for quite a while, and the thing was very, working great, and then it just quit for some reason. I couldn't figure out why, I didn't see any smoke, I mean it got warm just like any electric motor would do, but there was no smoke or anything, so... I took it apart and didn't see much anything wrong with it being brand new. Put it back together and it started working again. So, ah! so um, if you're if you got one, they're I guess they're pretty cheap, you know, made in China. And so it is fixable though. Um, I was not real confident that it was going to start working again, but it seems fine now. Ah! 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 Um, the commutator had a little bit of uh, scoring on it from that short amount of time I used it. So I, while I had a part, I did take that out and sort of polish that up, um, made it shine where it was dark. The brushes are really small and probably super fragile in this thing. So, but it wasn't that hard. If you've ever fooled with electric motors before, grab you a number two uh, Phillips screwdriver first and take. There's two short screws that just hold this end cap on with the switch and electrical, and then. They're not machine screws, they're just coarse screws that screw into this plastic cap. Then, when you have that off, get some slack in your wire. There's two long screws that run the length of it, top and bottom. You have to get those out. They're Phillips as well, but they're machine screws. And then, just be patient with when you put it back together with that commutator and getting the brushes back on there. I had to actually get uh, someone to help me for a third hand for that last getting it back together to hold the brushes out and get the commutator in between them and then put you know slide it back together so but uh you might also need there's four uh allen head screws on it this is a 532nd allen wrench that i used i don't know what the metric equivalent is off the top of my head but that you can use that on this end because you'll have to line up the pump rotor on the motor rotor shaft and uh yeah that's about it if if it's leaky leaking any you can put some like rtv sealer of some sort in between here and then this end seems to be pretty well made it's got an o-ring that goes close to the di you know, diameter of this but uh anyway that's uh about it, I guess. So, uh, I was pleased. I was glad that it started working again. It's hooked up to an old battery, so it's not kicking real hard. Um, you might want to use a little bit of this, um, dielectric grease that I use on stuff. It's pretty high temperature stuff. I put a very, very light coat of it on the commutator with a toothbrush and also some on the outer steel part of the rotor. So, um, that might help a little bit so anyway that's about it on that and uh so i can pick up some more waste oil sometime um i got I still got quite a bit even though before that thing quit um i was not holding the nozzle wide open so but it was really rocking. I was trying to strain it at the same time, so I wasn't holding it. I wasn't even holding the nozzle halfway wide open. So I don't know if that put a strain on it or what, but I had it hooked up to my car battery with my car idling so it wouldn't run my battery down. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I mean, nothing really looked damaged at all other than that one scored spot on the commutator, and that was a quick fix. Spun it on the lathe, used it tiny piece of uh scotch bright like that on it so like i've done in some other my some of my other videos where i've cleaned off uh commutate motor commutators like that so let's see what's playing on the jukebox i wouldn't want my videos to be too boring 
So Russell the Muscle doesn't say smarty pants comments at the bottom like, I think I found out how to sleep. I just watch your videos. <laughs> Very funny there, smarty pants. That's as loud as this tape will go, man. What's up with that? Pull back the rain. Hard to beat some 80s Duran Duran. Oh yeah. Have a good one. Take care.